Hello and welcome to the first CAD tutorial for Husky Robotics. It is essential to know the fundamentals of CAD, which stands for Computer Aided Design, in order to design mechanical components for an FRC robot. CAD software allows you to create precise digital 3D models and drawings for your robot to see how all the parts fit together without having to assemble them physically. The CAD software we are going to use is called Autodesk Inventor. You are able to use your student email to get a free copy of the software to use on your personal computers. There is a link in the description to learn more about the student license. So when you first open Autodesk Inventor, you will be greeted with a screen that looks like this. On the bottom, you will see a box labeled Recent Documents. Here will be all the files that you have recently worked on. You are able to filter through the Recent Document box by selecting the options to the left. You are also able to pin a file by clicking on the pin icon on the top right corner of the file icon. To open a document in your recent documents box, simply double click on the files icon. Moving towards the middle top of the screen, you will see a box labeled new. Here you will use this to create an Autodesk Inventor file to work on and you have to specify the type, a part, assembly, drawing, or presentation file. For now don't worry about the types of these files as they will be covered in the later video. On the right there are three tabs with their individual boxes labeled projects, shortcuts, and file details. Projects will display all of your projects and for information about them. I will also cover projects in a later video, so just make sure your project is set at default for now. The shortcuts tab can be useful for adding shortcuts to specific folders or URLs that you reference a lot. Lastly, the file details will display information about any selected file in the recent documents box. The interface is very adjustable and you can resize each box to your choosing. On the toolbar there are a variety of buttons available. For the purposes of this video we will only be going over the most essential features you will need to know for now. First, there are four buttons highlighted here. The new button will open a box that will prompt you to select the file type so you can create a new file. The open button will allow you to open existing Autodesk Inventor files and edit them. The projects button will display all of your projects in a much more detailed format than the projects tab on the home screen. Lastly, the home button will bring you back to the screen you are looking at now. Heading over to the tools tab, You'll be able to access the Application Options feature, which will allow you to configure Autodesk Inventor. Inside Application Options are all the available configurable settings for Autodesk Inventor. Remember, these settings do not save across computers, so if you want to export or import settings, you should use the two buttons below. For now, the only settings I recommend tweaking are Hardware, Display, and Color Settings. For the Color Settings, Make sure to change the background to an environment that suits your needs. For example, if you don't like the default light theme, change to a darker theme so it is easier on your eyes. For display settings, I highly recommend enabling reverse direction for zoom behavior, because on default, scrolling up will zoom out, and scrolling down will zoom in, which can be very annoying if you are not used to it. Lastly. Make sure to configure the hardware settings to the most appropriate option for your computer. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you all in the next one.